we right here at the Cheesecake Company Bar Harbor right here located in St. Augustine. Exclusive cheesecakes, they got wine, they got all types of stuff, and they got a cemetery next door, meaning they must be killing the competition. It's the best around, I can't wait to try it. All right, so I was making that video and the lady came out and said that there's only one server and they just have a whole big order. So we were actually gonna try to do the taste testing. I should have took up the offer when I first been offered it because right now I got three four by four cheesecakes. All right, I got a strawberry, I got a salted caramel, and I have, uh, I already forgot, a plain, a plain, there you go. And that's, you gotta make the plain right if you can make anything else. And I even got a savory cheese, it's a brief beef, a brief, beef biscuit cheesecake. A, yes, beef, beef brisket, yeah. I never had a warm savory cheesecake. This place got it, place 144 flavors. So we're gonna sit down, find somewhere to eat this stuff and see what it's about. So we got the New York style, Bar Harbor Cheesecake Company, got the strawberry and we have the salted caramel. All right. So this is the Plain James Bar Harbor Cheesecake Company right here in St. Augustine. I wanna cut it in front of you so you see what's up. All right, very silky smooth, look at that. Rolls right on the spoon. Here, one more. It tastes pretty light. You know, it, it's nicely creamy. The texture is, is on point. It melts in your mouth. Uh, my personal preference, I wish that the top would have been more brown. The thing about a cheesecake, when you brown the top, you caramelize the skin and it has like a little bitter sweet taste. This tastes like a more luxurious Junior's. What do you think? How about you, what do you think? It's all right? I like, I can see how a savory cheesecake would taste good with this base. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, the creaminess is good, like I said. But like, like I said, it's all one texture. It's not like a multi-texture. Like you don't have a skin and it doesn't have a body. This has a body. It's not too sweet. But this is better than Junior's for a fact. Mm -hmm. Definitely better than Cheesecake Factory. I respect it. Now next we have a strawberry cheesecake. Now comparing my strawberry shortcake to this. All right. Now this one is more globby. I understand why. I could appreciate this because I know that they use real strawberries. You use real fruit. It's gonna add more moisture to the cheesecake, right? So I can tell they use real fruit. That's a good sign right there. So I'm gonna try the strawberry cheesecake. Right. Definitely extra creamy. This gotta be the best strawberry cheesecake I had after mine but i'll let you know right now that is really good that texture is amazing mm. but not by a long shot mm. i like the tanginess of the strawberry try, try the... wow this is uh better than a plain james this is definitely better than the plain James. Like I said, the texture is more creamy. This is not for anybody that likes dense cheesecake, but this is definitely creamy and I can see why I got these real strawberries. Once again, it releases moisture. <clears throat> They're very rich. <laughs> That's real good. Real good strawberry. Now this right here is the salted caramel. Let's try the salted caramel, guys. Let's see what, now this right here has a brown top. If the plane would have had this brown top, it would have turned it up a notch. But see what happens? See, you have a little crack in the middle. That's why it's kind of hard to like not have a crack in the middle being around the top because when you brown the top, you kind of dry a little bit. Same time, you caramelizing the skin. But let's see what's up with this salted caramel. He said this is the top seller actually. This is the best salted caramel cheesecake that I had. I don't have a salted caramel. This is. 
This is good. What do you think? It's really good. Yeah, it's good, right? You like this, the strawberry better or you like this better? I like the strawberry better. Like, because that strawberry flavor was really rich. It's rich, right? This is good as well. This is the second best for sure. I love them all. But definitely these flavor ones. I feel like this is good, but I feel like the crust is getting a little more thicker. Mm -hmm. I think they need to remain with a thin crust, like the, the plain one had mm -hmm. for the strawberry. Well, I didn't taste it much. But yeah, I did. Maybe because they cooked this more, so it dried up the crust a little bit. So the dryness of the crust kind of like overlaps the salted caramel. Not enough to say it's bad at all. It's delicious, but it, it could be more enhanced if it's they would have thin the crust, you know. But just just this alone is, is amazing. So the reason why I respect uh, this place, because a lot of people say they got the best stuff, but this this stuff is actually really good. And it's crazy because I didn't come out here originally to try some cheese here. But I said, you know what, let me try the best spot. This is it right here. Uh, i definitely say the strawberry is the winner. It tastes nearly identical as mine. How do you say, you tried my strawberry shortcake one right before, right? What would, what would the difference be? Like, what would, I want to hear from somebody else, not from me. Yeah, the taste is almost identical. But I feel like this one was a little bit more, a little bit more sweet than yours. So what what would you rate mine's and this one? Be honest. I'll rate yours uh, a ten. I'll rate this one a nine point six. Why well, would you rate mine's a ten and this a nine point six? Because I feel like that one was a little bit like yours. Strawberry sugar was a little bit like it was perfectly sweet, but then this one is um, a little bit overly sweet. This strawberry one is really good. Is like one percent identical for mine but i do feel like this has you ever had like a strawberry fruit punch or something like that that's what the taste it has but they don't just put artificial they put like all bunch of extracts and everything else with it they mastered this so you know this is definitely not something that i'm i'm gonna say i got by lance or anything i respect this the salted caramel is really good too everything is good this place gets two thumbs up for real what do you think Look, you're on the St. Augustine area. Make sure you go to the Bar Harbor Cheesecake Company. This um, stuff's official. I want to try some more flavors. Want to try more flavors? Yes, then I want to have a reservation. Let's make a reservation. St. <laughs> yes. Augustine, let's do it. All right. That's my verdict right there. I tell you, you got you to gotta try different places. You got to travel to learn experience true cheesecake craft. I don't just bring you stuff, right? that I think is good, right? I bring you based on experience. So I've got busy all of a sudden, right? It's like an I-4 traffic jam behind me. But anyways, stay tuned. She said Channel St. Augustine series, the Bar Harbor Cheesecake Company. Let's do it. I'm gonna have an extended footage with the savory cheesecake, beef brisket. Stay tuned. All right, right here we have a beef brisket savory cheesecake from Bar Harbor. This is insane. I never thought I'd be trying to dig in my fork through a cheesecake that got meat in it. And they have other flavors too, like lobster, they got crab meat, they got, uh, uh, they even have a jerk chicken cheesecake. So these people ain't playing with it. That's probably how they got the 144 flavors. And they got 40 protein flavors. But the special instructions on this is to like warm it up in the microwave for four to five minutes or eight minutes total, 30% power. How am I supposed to put the microwave 30% power? That must be like a high-tech microwave, but I'm gonna still do it increments of a minute after four minutes and see how it goes. I'm gonna try it and get my opinion. Here we got the sweet and savory cheesecake. They say put this on the plate and put it in the microwave for four minutes. And I see it's already thawed out. I said put it in the microwave for four minutes. Beef brisket cheesecake for breakfast. Smelling like a 4th of July barbecue, right? Ooh. What? What's this? It just melted. It said four minutes. Beef brisket grits. Damn, that's crazy. It just flattened out. Man, it's crazy. I'm still going to try it. All right, trying this beef brisket cheesecake. See the texture is like gooey in the bottom i think they don't have no graham cracker crust at the bottom they have 
tastes like a cornbread. It's like a biscuit as a crust. Clever. Mm. This is actually not bad at all. I see what they did. They didn't add too much sweetness to it because I think they probably half the dose of the sweetness to the cheesecake because the savory part of whatever protein they put overcomes the rest of it. Then they put some seasoning to go with it. Uh, I don't know if I taste any vanilla. Let me see. But I said very little. It's tricky. But this is real good though. This is probably not bad. I never thought I'll be eating a beef brisket cheesecake. that right there mm. they pull this off real well i make the maple bacon cheesecake but i can see how they pull this off but with a beef brisket lobster crab legs they got they got king crab cheesecake can you believe that make sure you shake them out if you like this type of stuff savory mildly sweet and look at the crust even the crust got some parsley this is like on some next level cheesecake right here mm. Oh yeah. Would I eat it again? Of course. I think it's good. Like I said, I think it's missing like some type of uh, garlic toast on the side. Something crunchy to just dip in this gushiness of flavor. Other than that, yeah. This is a recap of the whole video. I replayed it. I wasn't happy with uh, the way I sounded, I sound like I was talking kind of low. I wasn't that excited and energetic as I usually am. And now I know why, because if I play, you know, you have to replay your life sometimes. That time I was recording, it was a real dim lighted waterfall romantic spot. And when I sat down, I seen like three other couples kissing like, um, um, yes I do, baby. And I just didn't feel like comfortable be like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Cheesecake Chinos making a review. You know, I want to be a little considerate, so I, I, I naturally just like, well, all right, guys, this is, you know, but recap on the video. So shout out to Bar Harbor Cheesecake Company, St. Augustine. This place is a true inspiration because I already have 95 flavors, but they have 144 flavors. So they inspire me to make some more. See, I give credit where it's due. I don't just depot inspiration to keep it to myself. Shout out to Bar Harbors, thank you. So um, they have the savory cheesecakes, which I bought the beef brisket one. We started off with the plain. The plain, if you was that, if you don't like cheesecakes, you wouldn't be converted eating their plain because it tastes like a traditional cheesecake, but it just has a luxurious feel to it. You can tell that it's made with love. It has a typical graham cracker crust, graham cracker, brown sugar and butter. You know, so I don't remember the graham cracker crust being significant, but it's still a nice little bottom foundation for the creamy cheesecake, nice and smooth. But the cheesecake, the plain, it was good. It was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It, did, it wasn't oversweet. The strawberry one was really a top contender to my strawberry shortcake. Uh, I would say that the, the difference is probably 5%. It's really close, and that's why I truly respect this place because a lot of strawberry cheesecakes that I get from other places, all they do is just uh, make a strawberry shortcake bottom sponge cake and put a cheesecake on top. These people actually took the time to cook the strawberry puree, incorporate it in the cheesecake, and voila. And the taste was strong. It was like a strong hit. It wasn't like, a, mm, I barely taste the strawberry. So they figured out something that I figured out. But one thing I must say is that it was kind of on the sweet side. So even if I enjoyed it as much, if I had to really be critical between my strawberry frost and their strawberry frost, there was a little more on the sweet side. Mine is sweet too, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't overly powerful where you could still taste the cheesecake and the strawberry in a metallic way. But like I said, I would still eat the strawberry cheesecake any other time. I respect it. Uh, everybody loved it. And that was probably my top pick or maybe tied with the salted caramel which is the third one that I had, really delicious. You could tell the butter that they, they cooked down and made the caramel sauce from scratch, that's what the lady said. Uh, it was a little on the dry side about a crust, probably could have left it in the oven a little longer to cook. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't dry bad because it kind of blended in with the crust. So it was like a gradient of flavors, you see what I mean? And then the, the buttery taste, the end, it was like that sweet tang, not even a tang, it's like a sweet touch at the tip of your tongue. I, was, I received that when I had it. Compared to my caramel crunch, I would say that it's probably about the same. Because my caramel crunch is smooth and it's strong too as well, but it's less buttery, but it's more caramelly, right? 
Uh, this is the best salted caramel cheese that I had in any other place is here, what I'm talking about. Uh, but my caramel crunch has a crunch to it. Uh, that's why it's different. I think that it's more, it comes more down to preference of what you type of cheesecake you like when it comes down to my caramel crunch and this salted caramel, which is not even the same flavor, but it's probably pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll go to that. Really delicious cheesecake. And the last but not least, I had the savory cheesecake beef brisket. Never had a savory cheesecake in my life. This even has special instructions that you see I put in the microwave for four minutes, it plastered itself, but it was good. It was delicious. And it's also an inspiration too, because somebody told me to make savory before, and I do make maple bacon, but that's more in the sweet side because you could get away with sweetening bacon. But I don't think you get away with too much of sweetening chicken, unless it's a chicken teriyaki cheesecake. Ooh, stay tuned, ideas are flourishing to my head. And I see the crust is like a cornmeal type of crust. It has some fresh herbs in it, parsley. Everything was made with love. Whoops, somebody just got pulled over. Oh, wow. Everything was made with love. All right, everything was made with love. Go to Bar Harbor Cheesecake if you're in the St. Augustine area. It's truly delicious. If I'm there in the area, you know where I'm gonna be at? Bar Harbor trying some more flavors, trying to maybe make a reservation of cheesecake tasting that they have, which is like, I think a fourth of a cheesecake. They bring it out by the place. You can drink wine, you can drink chocolates. Good look. Thanks for having me, St. Augustine. Until next episode, which is Cleveland, Chicago, Milwaukee, New York City, Jersey. A big series coming real soon. This is just like a little warm up, all right? Stay tuned.